And there is a new push to bring awareness to the more than 1,500 restaurants, shops, and services that line the convoy area. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why you might start seeing some signs directing you to what's now being called the Convoy Asian Cultural District. Even before their doors opened to the public Monday, the kitchen staff inside Convoy's Cross Street Chicken and Beer was already hard at work. But owner Tommy Nguyen really wants to see even more demand for his restaurant's southern spin on Korean fried chicken. And if the 1,500 other establishments in the Convoy area saw the same success, that'd be great too. There's great businesses, great food, um, and, and just being able to showcase our culture um, is, is one of those things that uh, we've been pushing since we've opened this location. Now that push is hitting the highway, the 805 to be exact. The nonprofit Convoy District Partnership launched a fundraising drive to install signs along both directions of the 805, directing the thousands of drivers each day to what's being called the Convoy Asian Cultural District. We have Asian town. How to get there? I would tell them just to follow the sign. The strategy is similar to a 2019 effort along I-15 in City Heights, where you'll find signs directing people to Little Saigon. On Monday, the director of Little Saigon San Diego told me anecdotally the signs worked, noting people who previously didn't know it existed asked her about the area and that it has also brought visitors from out of state. The same response would be welcome news to those in convoy as well. Organizers want to raise $30,000 to buy six signs. Their goal is to have them in by the fall. From the Convoy Asian Cultural District, John Horn, ABC 10 News.